Welcome back to soft computing series. This video covers rule based fuzz implication example. In my previous video I discussed what is fuzzy logic and the two rules of rule based fuzzy implication. Do watch the first video which is on rule based fuzzy implication. Let's start. So the example is let x equals to six elements are given be the universe of discourse consider the following three fuzzy sets defined on the above universe so three fuzzy set are given fuzzy set a with three elements fuzzy set b with four elements and fuzzy set c with six elements so this are the three sets determine the implication relations number one is if x is in a then y is in b second is if x is in a then y is in b else y is in c so this are the two implication fuzzy implication let's solve first one that is if x is in a then y is in b so the first rule that is the first relation will solve in two parts let's solve the first one that is a cartesian b then we'll solve a complement Cartesian Y and lastly will solve the union of both this. Let's get started with the first one that, that is A Cartesian B. A Cartesian B is given by mu R of X comma Y equals to mu A Cartesian B of X comma Y equals to minimum of mu A of X comma mu B of Y. Consider two set for this that is set A and consider set B. So first write set A in column vector form. Here first element is not given. Here you can see second element is given that is 0 0.6 upon 2, 2, 3 and 4. Here first element is not given. So consider first element as 0. Write first element 0, write second element, third and fourth element. And write set B, this set again here, 2, 3, 4 and 5 elements are given. First element is missing. So write first element 0, then second, third, fourth and fifth element. And here write sixth element also which is not given as we want six elements which is given in set C. So the final size will be of six elements. So set A is column vector of size four into one, four row and one column. Set B is row vector of one row and six columns. So here, your Cartesian product of this two set will be of size four into six. So let's calculate A Cartesian B. Select the first element from set A and compare with each element of set B one by one and select minimum as per this formula. Let's get started and calculate. First is 0. Compare with each element and select minimum. 0 and 0 minimum is 0. 0 and 0 0.4 minimum is 0. Again 0 with all this element remaining element minimum will be 0 right all elements 0 so this is the first row now for the second row select second element of set a and compare with each element in set b in matrix b 0 0.6 and 0 select minimum minimum is 0, 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 minimum is 0 0.4 0 0.6 and 1 minimum is 0 0.6 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 write minimum 0 0.6 0 0.6 and 0 0.3 write minimum 0 0.3 and last 0 0.6 and 0 minimum is 0. So this is the second row of the result matrix. Now for the third row select the third element from set A and compare with each element in set that is matrix B and select minimum as per this Cartesian product formula. 1 and 0 compare and minimum is 0. 1 and 0.4 compare minimum is 0 
1 and 1 minimum is 1, 1 and 0.8 minimum is 0.8, 1 and 0.3 minimum is 0.3, 1 and 0 minimum is 0. So this is the third row. Now for the last row, select the last element of set A and compare with each element of set B and select minimum. Let's start 0 0.2 and 0 minimum is 0, 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 minimum is 0 0.2, 0 0.2 and 1 minimum is 0 0.2, 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 minimum is 0 0.2, 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 minimum is 0 0.2, 0 0.2 and 0 minimum is 0. So this is the final result matrix of A Cartesian B of size 4 into 6. This is the first part of the first rule A Cartesian B. So we solved the first part. Now let's solve the second part that is A complement Cartesian Y. For the second part let's solve first A complement of fuzzy set. So A complement of fuzzy set is use 1 minus mu A of X that is minus 1 from set A and find all the elements. So here first element is not given consider first element 0. So I have written here first element that is 0 upon 1, second element 0 0.6 upon 2, third element 1 upon 3 and fourth element is 0 0.2 upon 4. So these are the four elements. So let's start and find a complement. 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 0 0.6 is 0 0.4, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8. So this is the a complement set written in column vector. So for the second part we have first calculated a complement. Now let's calculate the second part that is a complement Cartesian product y. So this is the a complement set we just calculated about this y. y set is not given. So y set assume it as whole relation. So this is the whole relation. So we have considered y matrix of size 1 into 6. It is written in row vector of size 1 into 6 with 6 elements. So let's calculate the final matrix of A complement Cartesian product Y. Consider column matrix and row matrix. Select first element from this column matrix and compare with each element from the Y matrix. Compare and select minimum to find Cartesian product as we did for the first part. So we are calculating second part of the first rule. Let's start. Select one and compare with each element of Y matrix. One after comparing with each element that is after comparing with all one result will be one. So write one. So this is the first row. Now select second element from the A complement matrix 0.4. Compare with each element of Y matrix and write minimum. 0 0.4 comparing with 1 will give minimum 0 0.4. Write 0 0.4. This is second row. Now let's calculate third one. Consider third element and compare with each element of this matrix. So after comparing minimum will be 0. Write 0 on all places. For the last one select 0 0.8 compare with all the elements. Minimum will be 0 0.8. Write 0 0.8 on all the places. So this is the final matrix of A complement Cartesian product Y. So we calculated first part A Cartesian product B. Second part also we calculated A complement Cartesian product Y. Now let's calculate third part that is the final matrix that is for relation R. We calculated first part second part now let's calculate third part that is r relation for this consider a cartesian b product matrix this one and complement cartesian y set this set so consider this set and this set which we already calculated compare and select max element let's start so for final result matrix select each row of both the matrix compare and select maximum. So select the first row here. You can see first row is 0, 0 all. Here is 1, 1, 1. So max of this 2 is 1. So all the 
values of the first row will be 1 1 1 now second row for second row consider second row of a Cartesian B matrix and a complement Cartesian Y matrix compare second row 0 and 0 0.4 max is 0 0.4 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 max will be 0 0.4 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 max will be 0 0.6 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 max will be 0 0.6 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 max will be 0 0.4 0 and 0 0.4 max will be 0 0.4 so this is the second row now to calculate third row compare third row of this matrix and third row of this matrix so this is all zero comparing all zero with this values so max will be 0 0.4 1 0 0.8 0 0.3 and 0 that is values from this matrix now for the last row select last row of this matrix and last row of this matrix compare and select max 0 and 0 0.8 max is 0 0.8 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 max is 0 0.8 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 max is 0 0.8 here all the elements are 0.8 and here elements are small that means remaining elements will be 0.8 so these are the four rows of the matrix so this is the final result matrix r relation so this was the first part of the question so if x is in a then y is in b so we calculated the first part in which we first calculated a cartesian b then we calculated a complement cartesian y and finally we calculated our relation now let's calculate the second part of the question that is if x is in a then y is in b else y is in c let's calculate second part of the question so this is the second part of the question that is if x is in a then y is in b else y is in c so for this given rule is r equals to a cartesian product b union a complement cartesian c so for the second part of the question so we have to calculate this rule for the second part also we will calculate step by step first step is to calculate a cartesian b then a complement cartesian c and finally third step to calculate r relation so as for the first question we have already calculated a Cartesian B so we already have this set now we have to calculate second step that is a complement Cartesian C for this we have already calculated a complement for the first question so we will consider a complement that we have already calculated so this is a complement that we calculated already for the first question so write this a complement matrix this one which is written in column form so to calculate a complement cartesian product c so a complement we have already calculated we have written in column matrix of size 4 into 1 now for the c matrix which is already given in the question this is the c fuzzy set which is already given in the question write this in the row vector form of size 1 into 6 so here we have written c fuzzy set matrix in row vector form of size 1 into 6 so this is a complement matrix and this is fuzzy set c matrix now to calculate Cartesian product of this select first element of a complement set and compare with each element of C set compare and select minimum for Cartesian product let's begin 1 and 0.3 minimum is 0.3 1 and 0.5 minimum is 0.5 here comparing one with all the elements minimum will be elements from the set C so write all these elements in the first row now for the second row select second element of a complement set 0.4 and compare with each element in the set C 0.4 and 0.3 select minimum 0 0.3 0.4 and 0.5 select minimum 0 0.4 0.4 and 0 0.6 minimum 0 0.4 0.4 and 0 0.6 minimum 0 0.4 0.4 and 0 0.5 compare and select minimum is 0.5 
point four and zero point three minimum is point three. So this is the second row of the matrix. Now for the third one, select third element from a complement set and compare with each element of this matrix. So comparing zero with all these element, minimum will be zero. Minimum will be zero. So write minimum in the third row. Now for the last row, select last element zero point eight and compare with each element. So here zero point eight is maximum. 0.8 is bigger than all these numbers so final last row will be the all the elements of matrix c so write all the elements in the last row so this is the a complement cartesian product c set of size 4 into 6 now we calculated second part of the second question that is we already have this we calculated this now we have to calculate R relation so finally to calculate R relation use this formula a Cartesian product B union a complement Cartesian product C so consider a Cartesian B matrix so consider a Cartesian B matrix and consider a complement Cartesian product C matrix this one compare both this matrix and select max element let's start for the r relation compare each row and select max so select first row of this matrix and first row of this matrix after comparing zero with all these elements max will be all these elements so write this element in this matrix next for the second row select second row of this matrix and second row of this matrix 0 and 0 0.3 select max 0 0.3 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 max is 0 0.4 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 max is 0 0.6 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 max is 0 0.6 here 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 compare and select maximum which is 0 0.4 0 and 0 0.3 maximum is 0 0.3 so this is the second row of the r matrix now for the third row 0 and 0 max is 0 0.4 and 0 is 0.4 so here all the elements are 0 and here elements are bigger than 0 so compare and select max so max will be this row write this in matrix R now for the last row select last row of this matrix and last row of this matrix compare and select max element 0 and 0.3 maximum is 0.3 right here 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 maximum is 0 0.5 0 0.2 and 0 0.6 max is 0 0.6 0 0.2 and 0 0.6 max is 0 0.6 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 here max is 0 0.5 and 0 and 0 0.3 compare both these max is 0 0.3 so this is the last row of the R relation matrix so this is the final relation matrix so we calculated second part of the question that is if x is in a then y is in b else y is in c for this we use this formula of rule based fuzzy implication so here we already calculated this in first question we calculated a complement also in the first question now here we calculated in second question a complement cartesian product c matrix this one then finally we calculated our relation where we considered a Cartesian B matrix and A complement Cartesian product C matrix. Both this set we compared and selected maximum. So here is the final result matrix. So this is the second part of the question. So this video covers this example where we solved the first question of rule base for the implication where we calculated first question that is if X is in A then Y is in B. We calculated this question then we also calculated second part that is if x is in a then y is in b else y is in c second part also so this was all about rule based fuzzy implication example stay tuned for upcoming video hit the like button share with your friends thank you for watching